Back. Today I'm going through the next 10 sections of the Learn HTML by building a cat photo app on FreeCodeCamp. So we're on step 21 and you can see here we've got our um, now unordered list with our three items. So this is the unordered list and then now basically after that we want to add a new image with the source attribute value set to um, this cat photo and the alt attribute should be uh, this piece of text here. So let's do that. So after that, we want a new image and let's do an, an um, oh, sorry, this is a, a new image, so IMG, um, like that. And we can do self-closing tag, if you remember, like the other image, the um, source will be this one and then the alt text um, for screen readers and accessibility um, is this here. So let's put that in. And then as you can see, we've got our um, image of lasagna here, <laughs> slice of lasagna on a plate. We check our code. Uh, there we go, it's all passed. Cool. So next one, step 22. Um, let me just bring this over so you can see the image very nicely there. Um, so the figure element represents self-contained content and will allow you to associate an image with a caption. So next, uh, nest the image you just added within a figure element. So let's do that. So figure like that. And then this will be a self-closing, uh, not self-closing, sorry. Um, we'll need a closing tag afterwards. And we can see that now. So let's check that and that's all good. And then a figure caption is an element that's used to add a caption to describe the image contained within this figure. Um, element so we can add a caption to this basically so um, yeah after the image nested within we can then put this fig caption caption um, and then close that off fig caption like so and we'll just grab that text cats love lasagna pop that in between the middle there and just for formatting reasons um, there we go let's check that and we can see here, if I bring this over, there's our fig caption text, and that's in line and sort of associated to the image basically, not only sort of style-wise, but also within our HTML. We know that this fig caption relates to the image because it's in a figure um, tag itself. Let's check that, and perfect. On to the next one. So, emphasize the word love in the fig caption element by wrapping it in an emphasis em element so if we want to emphasize specific bits of text we can do this and we want to do the same thing here so that'd be em like that and if i scroll down you can see it's kind of italicized uh, which i think is the word uh the love part of that with the emphasis and it just makes it stand out a little bit to the bit on the page Cool, step 25, after the figure element, add another h3. So we'll do h3, and we'll close that off, h3. And then this is the gonna be the text, top three things cats hate. And, oops, we've got some formatting, and we should be able to see that down here. So here's another h3, similar to this one here. Perfect. Step 26, now we're using an unordered list, sorry, an ordered list. So this is unordered in terms of its bullet points. There's no order to them, so like one, two, three, for example. Um, if we do OL like that and close that out, this is now an un uh, sorry, ordered list. And so basically after the second section elements, last H3, add an unordered list with these three items. So let me just create the list items here. So I'm going to replicate this three times. Um, of course, if you want sort of the muscle memory, um, you could write it out three times. Uh, actually in, in VS Code, which is the IDE that I use, it will sort of auto generate these tags for you um, just with li and um, tab or enter. Um, so you're not often actually writing out HTML quite like this, but it's certainly good to do as you're learning. Um, which is, I guess, why they don't have any um, sort of format on save or um, sort of emit in this browser um, IDE here, I guess. 
But that said, as you can see, we've got our ordered list and then now each item without us adding, you know, one, two, three, for example, on the list, we've actually got that rendered to the page. So that it basically knows what order um, the items are in the list. So let's check that and that should be good. Perfect. So 27 after the ordered list as another figure element. So we're going to add another figure like that slash figure. And that's the closing figure and perfect next one and then step 28 inside the figure element that we've just added nest an image so img that's close self-closing and then the source attribute is equal to this and it hasn't given us an alt text so i'm not going to add that in for now uh, we should see a new image there as well so we've just added a new image and then I assume we'll be going through and adding the fig caption and alt text as we go. Yep, so now we've got our alt attribute text. So let's add that on. So normally you do that like so. And you know, if you remember, we're not gonna see this on the page. It's more for screen readers um, and sort of other ways that you might be able to describe what that image is if let's say you can't see it physically. And then step 30, after the last image, add a fig caption. So that was the lot, that's what the missing piece we didn't don't have for it yet. So fig caption and fig caption, like so. And then we just want to add text, cats hate other cats. And if I scroll down, we can see here that there's our fig caption for the image and if you remember this is all wrapped in a figure element the same as this one here um, so it's all nicely sort of tightly coupled um, within each other so there's our figure element and figure element and you can see here we're starting to sort of build out the page now we've gone from sort of just having the html on the body um, which i assume will be covered off at later stages they haven't described that yet or explained it um, but we've got our main and then we've got sort of two sections now with figures and, and all sorts going on. So it's building it out slowly. So let's just check that and that all passes. So cool, I'm gonna stop there. And yeah, hope you sort of found value in the video. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.